Hello folks. Well, many of you saw my last video on the full-scale airplane simulator called Aerofly FS2 that I flew around the United States in. I thank you all for watching it too. It was one of the games available on Steam which I found at steampowered.com. Well, as I was looking around, I found another simulator that has nothing to do with flying. It was a truck driving simulator. Well, when I saw it, I started thinking about my truck driving friend Scott Rosengarten. And when he last visited, I thought I would put myself in his shoes and see what it's like to drive a semi. This program's pretty impressive as you must pick a truck if you don't have one and also pick the type of load you want and where you want it to go with it. Also, the weather and conditions change as you drive, so you must be prepared for anything. I also don't have a steering wheel controller, so I'm using the mouse to control the steering. And I'm not used to that, but uh, I'm getting used to it. There are also many keys that you can turn on the keyboard that turn on turn signals, wipers, lights, high and low beams, rays, the trailer legs, brakes, jake brakes, mirror adjustments, etc. It's actually mind-boggling, but it takes a lot more to get used to them using my transmitter to the control the airplanes. So here's a demo in no particular order so you can see for yourself what it's like. My computer uses an Intel Dual 2.4 GHz CPU. The video card's an NVIDIA GTX 960 with 4 GB of RAM on board. The computer has 8 GB of RAM. I'm running Windows 10. This is the same computer I demonstrated how to clone your hard drive versus uploading just data, not programs, to other people's sites or USB hard drives. Save pictures and documents won't do anything to restore a bad hard drive or even a new one. So if you're going to download programs like this and then you won't have the disk, you're not going to have to reinstall them if you have a hard drive fail, especially if you have a clone one ready to pop in in that case. So let's put the hammer down and let's take the semi for a drive. This is where I'm picking the loads, what truck I want to drive and uh, where I want to go with them. Here I'm getting it out of the yard. You know, you have to do your hookup and back up to the trailer and all that stuff. I'll show you that at the end. But I'm just learning how to do everything here using the mouse to steer. So it's a bit of a learning curve. I should probably get a steering wheel set up for it. But uh, I'm just showing you how it works and uh, hope you enjoy the ride.
Well, as with all driving, there's unexpected hazards. This idiot's parked in the middle of the road. Raining. Where the hell is that windshield wiper button? Sorry, you flashed me, I had my brights on. Well, I'm starting to get tired and it's starting to get daylight. By the way, the yawns on the program aren't mine. <laughs> They're just built in. Oh, looks like he's going to let me in. Thank you. Oh. 
As you can see, I've changed trucks a couple of times along the way. Finally, we're at the yard. You have to complete the job. There's no reset. So if you get in a crash or get stuck, you've got to figure out how to get out of it. Kind of neat. Alright, let's back this puppy up and... I'm not sure where to back it up to, but uh, I'm going to put it right over here. Dropping a trailer legs. <sighs> All right, let's go in and get something to eat. How'd I do, Scott? Hell of a deal for four ninety nine. 